It's 531 and we continue to watch the impact of Hurricane Michael right now. The storm still battering the coast as we speak. Well, let's show you some video from Panama City Beach, Florida. You can see the front of the store ripped out and debris all over the parking lot there. Also a billboard practically falling off of its support pole. To put this in context, this is now the most powerful hurricane to hit the continental U.S. in nearly 50 years. It's knocked out power to more than 190,000 homes and businesses in that area. That's right, and Angela Buckman has been watching this storm come in. And boy, it came from a tropical storm to a Category 3 hurricane awfully fast. Very, very fast, and actually ended up, you mentioned in 50 years, mm -hmm. fourth on record if mm -hmm. you just measure wind strength. So, and what's still a little unnerving and very concerning at this point, it's still a Category 3 hurricane. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's been on land now for about four hours. So we're tracking this still intense, still yes, a hurricane, even though it has made landfall. And it's well north of Panama City, at least the center of this, now across the southeastern sections of Alabama, southwestern corner of Georgia. It will continue to track north and east, and you can see just how large this hurricane still is. Hurricane warnings come inland, as far inland as the south central sections of Georgia. Tropical storm warnings all the way up through parts of North Carolina. It is still forecast to be a hurricane over the next several hours, still near tropical storm strength at 2 a.m. tomorrow. It will continue to work its way across the southeastern part of the country with hurricane force winds the next several hours, the threat for tornadoes, and unfortunately the threat for some flooding as well. All right, thanks, Angela. Well, more help from Hoosiers now headed to the Gulf Coast after the hurricane. Duke Energy, for example, sending about 1,800 workers to go there to help restore power to all those homes and businesses. The workers include linemen, vegetation management, damage assessors, and administrators. They also sent south five flatbed trucks loaded with heavy equipment. They're headed to either Georgia or Florida. They tweeted this video a little bit earlier today as they were loading up that equipment ready to head south. They say they'll use those vehicles when they're navigating tough terrain there. And we've been following this story for days now, tracking the storm as it's headed to landfall. On WTHR.com, we have that track of Hurricane Michael, and we're going to keep covering the damage and the impact and the efforts to rebuild in the days to come. You can watch all the developments on our website as well as our free WTHR app.